and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft and today we're actually going to hang around in my base for just a little second because I want to show you what I've been working on. Now as you will probably be able to tell from here if you've seen my previous episodes we now have some pet sheep. Yes we really needed some sheep in spawn because this this uh, 1.7 spawn didn't really have any sheep around it so I thought I would collect some and put some in here so if anyone needs sheep or wool at all, uh, then uh, you can just come to my base and I have a few of them. So yeah, I was originally going to have different coloured wool all the way along here so that I could actually just collect different colours and things. But I don't think that's really going to be worth it. So instead I think I'm going to put some cows or some pigs and things in these ones. Uh, maybe chickens as well. And then uh, yeah, that'll be four animals. So I've got four spaces, so that'll be pretty cool I think. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing at some point, probably not within the episode since you guys can pretty much see what I did with the design. I kept it kind of simple, some uh, cobblestone stairs, I haven't done the ceiling yet, I've just literally just put a stripe of cobblestone for whatever reason. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I wanted to keep it kind of plain and simple but still look quite, you know, I think it looks quite, quite cool. But anyway, we are going to head back over to the horse track and uh, finish up what we're working on over there. One thing that I forgot to mention in the last episode was that we need another name for the other horse. Now, we have Muesli the Mule, which is back there, and we have Cosmo the Horse, which is this one with the white dots. We also have this uh, new little baby horse, which isn't so much of a baby anymore, but he's all black. Uh, he doesn't have any markings or anything. So yeah, uh, if you want to name a horse, I will put your name on a sign somewhere, not quite sure where. Uh, maybe I'll just start just writing names along here, depending on how many horses I then have at the end of it. So yeah, um, we are going to head over to the horse track now, and I'll catch you guys over there. Okay, so I may or may not have spent a couple of hours over here just building away and forgetting to record anything. Really, because not much progress has gone on, except for I've built a rib cage, which I'm not 100% sure on. I think this second rib here, which is different than every single other rib, um, may need to be changed a little bit, it pokes out a little bit there, may need to make it just go in a bit, uh, maybe just get rid of that one there. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking this, I think it looks awesome, it looks like a rib cage. I'm pretty sure. I think I need to add a bit more depth to this. Um, I don't exactly know too much about the spine and ribs and things, but I think, you know, I need to add a bit more around these areas. Um, a few more blocks just underneath, just to give it that extra kind of 3D-ness. Um, I was also thinking about adding another rib at the end here, but I think that a lot of rib cages. Oh, I've actually forgot to get rid of this bit because um, I did make a mistake and make one of them way too close to the other uh, because there there's a too too wide gap in in between each one, which I think works pretty well. And I've also just completely forgot to like do all this stuff, just getting rid of the, I'm putting like replacing dirt. Um, but yeah, I'm quite liking it. Uh, it looks better from that angle maybe than this angle. I think once I actually sort out this rib here, um, it should be good, but I think it it kind of doesn't work 100% well because we haven't got like a, you know, you're not going to go straight through it, you're going to come at it from an angle, which isn't ideal, but I think it's alright. I've added, I've actually cut out a bit of the side here because it was quite close and I like the fact that you, you like, if all the horses are coming along here at the same time, then you do have to kind of squeeze in and uh, it, there might be a bit of pushing and shoving which might be quite fun uh, through here. And uh, yeah, so I'm really liking this uh, this rib cage. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I think I have a cow on top of it which is uh, interesting. Hey dude, just chilling. Yeah, and uh, because uh, earlier I said about the fact that, that we have no cows and pigs, there are tons around here and chickens and everything. So I'm probably going to grab some of these and take them back at some point when I go back. Uh, I don't think I have any carrots on me, which isn't helpful though, but yeah, it looks good. Okay, so I've been spending a bit more time over here, and as you can see, I've added a little pond up here, which won't really be able to see at all, so I'm not going to bother too much with it. I think I'll add some sugar cane or something around it, just, you know, just in case someone goes up there. Oh, there's a creeper over there. That's a bit risky. But I've added these streams here. Now, let me take that out as creeper first, because otherwise we are going to have a few issues. He didn't even, like, hiss at me, what the hell? That was a little bit laggy and strange. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is kind of a little bit of something you have to kind of... You're, try, you're trying to get around it, pretty much. Um, and horses fall down two wide gaps, but not one wide. So you can walk over this just easily enough, and then you can walk over this easily enough. And I seem to be able to run over it. I didn't... Can I Can I do that? Did that just happen? Why, why can I not do that now? That's... That is very strange. Why? <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. You could actually run over one wide 
gaps anyway but on the horse you can definitely do that uh, but you can fall down these ones but so you have to kind of zigzag out a little bit um, which I think will be quite nice you know it's not too crazy hard to get around but yeah the rib cage is over here looking pretty cool I think and when you go through it it just looks amazing so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to build now I've obviously added some vines to places uh, which I will then do again I don't really want them to spread too far over here because I think that horses you know if there's a vine down here that horses might get a bit stuck um, and I don't really want to make it too difficult in that in that sense I don't want people to just get stuck everywhere um, let's get rid of this block for a second put one up there and uh, yeah so I'm thinking that it's gonna look good so far I'm gonna add my, more vines around so that this area is looking a bit more spooky and a bit crazy someone actually commented saying I should make it a Halloween theme and I'm not quite sure when we're actually gonna be like doing this whole race at all if we're gonna do it at all really um, but I, I'd like to think it isn't going to be all the way till October, but you know, I've added loads of vines up there, they haven't grown yet, but I think that's going to look really good uh, when you come past and there's some vines down there. And uh, yeah, I'm just really, really liking how it's looking now. I think I'm going to come up with some other idea, maybe some more bone themes, or maybe I'll actually go with a the theme of making this look a little bit more dead. So I'm going to get some, uh, or at least try and find some mycelium and things like that. I don't know, no one else is on the server other than Mumbo and I think he's recording. So I don't know whether or not I'll be able to do that this episode. Maybe I'll have to go and gather all that stuff um, in between. But um, I'm liking how it's looking at the moment. Maybe I'll add some lava. Or maybe I'll just die when these guys come and kill me. Okay, so I just tabbed out for a bit so that I could go and um, edit that quick that clip really quickly. Um, and I just... I just had an explosion. Is Mumbo on? But did he... Did he blow something up? Hello? Maybe it was lightning? I don't... I, th I think that sounded like a creeper. Um... I thought maybe Mumbo would be here. <laughs> like, he may have wandered down uh, to check it out. But no, I don't even know where the explosion came from. Um... All, uh, all I know is that it was extremely loud. So... Uh, what? Where did that even happen? Does is that the same sound as when lightning strikes as a zombie down there? But the, I'm so confused right now. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> All I know is that this rain literally is just oh oh what is something weird's happening with the water. It's like magic water that lightning keeps striking it for or something. That is very strange. I have not seen a lightning strike that close for probably forever because I I don't. <laughs> I don't even know. I thought that was a creeper. That scared the living daylights out of me. Okay, so since I'm about to head back to go and get some more materials, like some lava and things like that, I wanted to show you guys what this looks like so far on a horse. So this is the way you're going to be going through it. You'll end up going over to the skull, and I'm trying to maybe sort out some redstone for that. I may actually get Mumbo to come and help me if he's free or someone else. And then you've got this area here, which is kind of... oh. A little bit dangerous and then you have the rib cage here which looks amazing but that's pretty much all I've done so far I'm gonna head back get some more materials and try not to get shot or killed on the way back and uh, yeah I'll get some stuff okay so I've just come back with the lava I have placed some all, all the way up there I don't know if you're gonna see it from the track but it might light it up if it is dark when you come through here um, you're probably not actually gonna be able to see it at all now but um, we'll have to hop up here and have a look because it does look pretty cool the cave in there is amazing uh, well, it's not really much of a cave, more of a, like a just a hollow bit of the mountain. But anyway, I have had an idea for a while uh, about a YouTube series thing, um, all about YouTube and you know tips and tricks and things like that. And yeah, I wanted to know if you guys would be interested in something like that. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys are YouTubers yourself, or you know you may know someone that's a YouTuber or whatever and you might want to know some tips and tricks and some you know facts about how it is and and things like that so I thought maybe I would do this series um, as like a so I would do the commentary afterwards so I would I like probably record you know a smile games episode or mini games or something like that so there is some kind of visual not just a blank screen and I would talk about whatever you guys want me to talk about so if you've got an idea um, for something you want to see me talk about to do with YouTube, um, whether that's going to make videos or whatever, because I know that a lot of people are asking me um, at the moment, especially, um, how do you do YouTube, how did you get big at YouTube, and things like that. 
and um, I don't know. There's lots of lots of answers and questions and things that I could be uh, be saying about it. But I feel like these episodes aren't really long enough and not really the same the right style for this kind of thing. So if I do a video like that, let me know if you guys will watch it. If you are interested, then I will be sure to um, probably do it at some point soon. At least uh, a tester. And I'm hoping that this isn't going to burn everything down. I only want it to reach there. So as long as it only reaches there, that's fine. I don't think it's going to spread. That's that's all good. And hopefully no creepers come up here and blow it all up and then make it go down there because that would just be nightmare. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that and uh, I'm just going to get on and carry on with what I'm doing. Okay, so the sun is setting on another Minecraft day. I feel like I've been here all day, sat here and just building away. I haven't really recorded all that much because I feel like I've done a, a lot, but it doesn't really look like a lot. Um, this takes a lot longer than maybe you would think. Um, I've obviously built this skull here with the flames, and that looks amazing. I need to sort out the piston thing. I'll, I'll definitely do that um, next episode, I think, or in between episodes. And yeah, I've just been adding some more bushes around, some more vines, some more lava there, which looks pretty cool. I've had to block it off a little bit because I don't really want the horse to go near it or in it. I don't think I can actually get in it with that there and then you know this rib cage I've added some secret lighting here if you come at it from the other angle you can actually see the lighting the little pumpkins in there and I wanted to kind of discuss with you guys what I should do next now I've had some amazing comments about the river down there this river here actually you can you can see it from here um, and a lot of people were like oh yeah definitely go with the, the pirate ship idea that I mentioned um, but it's really really tiny I don't really want to dig out a whole area there just for a pirate ship because it's going to look weird. The, the, unless I do the whole river here and make the whole thing wider, it's going to look a bit ridiculous because, you know, if I build a massive pirate ship there and then the river down there just is so tiny, it's just going to look like this pirate ship's just been plonked there. And I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look like it's actually come along, you know, from the sea and uh, has joined up with this. But I had a great comment. Now, I really wish I knew their name. I'll try and put it on screen if I remember. Um, but they said to build a pirate airship. Now I'd completely forgotten about airships for some reason. I'm definitely going to build one probably up here somewhere. Just floating in the sky or something like that. Because I feel like that's going to look good. Although really you're gonna probably going to be able to see it best from over here. Let's see if I can kill the skeleton on the way. Hiya! Oh, and this spider. Oh god, I just get m completely mobbed by mobs here building. Which is why I've got that little AFK um, room in there and yeah so I think up there may be good I don't know how big I want to build it maybe over there mm. let me know what you think about that I probably won't get started till next episode uh, I'm definitely gonna have to grow some more grass around here um, I've got some bones to do that with because uh, I want some long grass just around the outside of this skeleton skull thing they also had a comment saying um, look at skulls because they actually have a back to them I do know that a skulls have a back I know that this isn't a whole skull, um, and that's mostly because I didn't really want a whole skull. I feel, feel like it's going to look weird if I have the back continue down here, and then where's the back going to go? It's just, it's going to end. Um, and I don't really want to make two kind of uh, archways to go through, I just want one really. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode here because I feel like I've run out of time completely, and I need to get, start work on other things and, and stuff and things, and yeah. So let me know what you think of this so far. I am really enjoying building this. Uh, next episode I may stay around here, maybe I'll move to somewhere else, but um, I'm really really enjoying it, so I hope you guys are too. Like, favorite, and subscribe, and I shall catch you guys next time. See ya!